Hello to all MMA fans. Alexandra Abramova, the host of the Sport Life program on the MMA-TV.com TV channel, is here with you. On December 11, the next international tournament Guerrilla MMA Series 46 Octagon 26 was held in Kazakhstan. And we will start as usual right from the main fight of the evening, where Roman Karasov and Alexander Lihalatov met in the fight for the bronze battle of the winner of the Guerrilla MMA Series. Since 2015, the pupil of the new Jujume club, Roman, managed to hold nine fights at the professional level, five of which took place at the venues of the series. Each of this fight ended in favor of the Kaliningrad fighter, which allowed Kurosov to win the winner's bout of the series this time. His opponent was Uzbek athlete Alexander Likhalarov. The fighters began the duel with a swap of the whiplash blows. From the first seconds of the fight, it seemed that the initiative was on Alexander's side, because he threw out more punches while Kurosov was only taking a closer look at his opponent and tried to push him to the net. It seemed that Roman was hoping to catch a good moment and decide the outcome of the fight with one strike. But two minutes before the end of the round, Kurosov dropped his opponent on the carpet and began trying to break through Likhalatov's defense with his elbow. Alexander managed to restrain the onslaught of the unstoppable Roman for another minute, but 54 seconds before the end of the round, the Uzbekistani fighter gave his back. His attempts to get up and get out of the grip were unsuccessful. In response to this, Roman held another successful takedown and began to finish off the opponent from behind with both hands. As a result, Nikolaev's knock on the can was 21 seconds before the gong and Roman's early victory, which brings him the fifth win in the series and the bronze battle of the winner of the series in middleweights. Now Roman Kurosov's record is 9-2, Alexander Nikolaev 7-2. The impressions are the most, most wonderful. I always dreamed of the belt, always dreamed of becoming a champion or a prize winner. All my dreams came true. I'm very happy, honestly. Furthermore, in principle, we started working with that installation we had. I studied the opponent, saw only two of his fights about the rest of the fights. To be honest, I tried to fight them, but it didn't work out anyway. The guy Alexander kicks very well, so we focused on this, holding our hands higher, trying to put more pressure, see some kind of definite response and build on this in the future. The way I wanted to show myself was to pull him apart, so he had to go towards me, then to continue working in the clinch, later to push off, feel his body, feel his balance, how he moves and works in the clinch. So, to make a transition, well, from there already try to clinch, to work through punches, and which accordingly we succeed. In the coming fight of the evening, featherweights Konstantin Chernichenko nicknamed the Destroyer and Nurjan Bizon Akishev Mat. Originally from Kazakhstan, Konstantin has been living and training in Russia for five years. The fighter lasts the active sports life, having managed to hold 12 fights in the year. As part of the series, the fighter performed seven times, of which he won three times. Chernichenko's last appearance in Octagon of our venue took place in June of this year at the MMA Series 35, where he lost to Nikolai Shahobov by a technical decision at the 42nd of the first round. This time, his opponent was the Kazakh fighter Akishov Nurjan, whose record is 11-3. Both fighters were leading a series of defeats by the time the fight started. Which of them managed to break the chains of failures and close the year with a victory? The battle lasted only a minute and a half, of which the fighters spent most of the time in exploration mode, simultaneously throwing modest kicks and jabs. At the end of the first minute, Akishev pinned his opponent to the net and moved him to the canvas. In an attempt to get up, Chernichenko made a fatal mistake, giving Norjan a neck and getting caught on the guillotine. Four seconds and Konstantin knocked as a sign of surrender. The judges counted the victory of the Bison with a chokehold at the first minute and the 26th second of the initial round. Due to the need to recuperate and to heal injuries, Konstantin Chernichenko decided to take a long break in his career. We wish the athlete a return to the fight soon and to gain new victories. The goals are big, and then it will turn out just as it was predetermined, so it will come out like that. Like any professional fighter, I want to fight in the most professional league in the UFC, try to get there. Even if it doesn't work out, to show the fans, to show the whole world who the Kazakhs are.
that we are the descendants of powerful Batyrs. This is my goal. Viewers of the MMA-TV.com TV channel have been waiting for this meeting for a whole month. We watched with special interest the duel in which the heavyweight Samba wrestlers Osman Bek Ukaniev and Alexander Hanin met. Osman Bek once again managed to surprise the audience with his agility. In the first seconds, the fighter pounced on the opponent, surprising him with the metal kicks, jabs and a knee kick to the jaw. Dumb found some point to the great Alexander was confused at first, but then quickly got his bearings and returned back to the center of the octagon. In the end of the first minute, Kukaniev rushed forward with an attempt to take his opponent to the canvas once again, but Hanin seized his body and did not allow himself to be thrown off balance. The capture lasted about 20 seconds, up to which Usman Beck managed to knock Alexander down and to find himself in the half guard position. The fight lasted until the middle of the round. Hanin persistently tried to get out of the catch, for which he repeatedly received powerful blows from the opponent. As a result, Alexander's strength left him and he stopped defending himself, missing many blows to the head. Two minutes before the end of the round, Kukaniev took the opponent's neck into a tight grip and made a chokehold. Seven seconds and Hanin not as a sign of surrender. According to the results of the 5-minute match, 3 accurate shots out of 11 were performed by Alexander, against 49 from Osman Bek, of which 40 were accurate. This was the third victory of the Tajik athlete in the series and in his career. Let's pay attention to the other participants of the last event. The representative of the Moscow club, Rusich Ivan Parshikov, with a 6-1 record, came together in a confrontation with the Kyrgyz fighter Ramazama Matazimu Ulu, who has 5 wins and 6 defeats. In the first minute and a half of the round, Ramazan was clearly more active, and it will seem that he could win the round on total points, demonstrating good timing, stability, and mastery of technique in the rack. However, at the end of the second minute, Iwan was able to make a successful takedown and enter a side control. Ramazan resisted for a long time and tried to get out of the fight, but a minute before the end of the round, Parshikov demonstrated a back mount and began to finish off his opponent. 36 seconds before the gong, the referee stopped the fight and recorded the early victory of the Russian athlete by technical knockout. Congratulations to Ivan on his seventh career victory. Now his record in the MMA series is 4-0. With the same technique, the debutant of the series, Gaziev Abdulgadri and Kamaldin of Islam prevailed over the rivals, Patrician Andre and Janibek of Islam, and all at the beginning of the first five minutes. Six seconds before the end of the final round, Jabbar of Timur defeated Alikbeku Ulu Ilimbek also by a TKO. Maksum Azad turned out to be stronger than Karabakh of Azamat at the 54th second of the initial round, winning with a submission. And we continue to summarize the results of the year. Today we will talk about the most successful prospects who started their professional careers in the Guerrilla MMA series, nomination debutant of the year. There are six contestants in this category. Serbian fighters Milos Francuski and Jarosz Stevan are included in the list thanks to their victories at the 40th SBC 35 tournament and the 36th SBC 31 evening. They both stand for the 2-0 record in the series. The young brightest bulb of the series, Diana Barbiova, is presented in two nominations at once, Fighter of the Year in Women's Division and Debutant of the Year, and all thanks to the fight at Gorilla MMA Series 43 in Moscow Calling, where she was stronger than Mireida Tashpalotova. Nikita Perhotka, who has fought two fights in the series and won both, becomes another nominee. The last performance of the fighter on our ground took place on June 26 at the 35th tournament where he defeated Khajiyev Muhammad by a decision of the judges following the results of three full rounds. Mikhail Sotnikov has only had one fight in the series but also gets a chance to compete for the title of the best debutant of the 21st year thanks to his performance in the duel against Maxim Barmin at the 37th event of the series. He defeated his opponent by technical knockout in the second minute of the first round. Next comes Osman Bekoganiev, who is familiar to all of us, who has already defeated his opponent for the third time at the Octagon 26 tournament and dreams of leading a winning streak without a single defeat in his career. So far, he managed to follow his plans. Watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com, follow our events, play sports and be healthy.